Hi everyone! So in today's video, I'm going to show you the parts to a microscope and how to use a microscope effectively for your exams. So to start, let us go with the basic setup of your microscope. Now when you take a microscope right out of its shelf, it's going to look more or less like this. Now it may not look and feel the same for all brands and types, but a basic setup of microscope will more or less be the same. So let's start with the spine of the microscope right here. This part that I'm showing you right now is the spine of the microscope. Always remember, the spine should be facing away from you. So what you are facing is actually this part right here we call as the stage microscope. This is how it should be like. So what you need to do next is to loosen this little knob right here so that you can turn the ocular lens right towards you right here and you are good to go. Alright, in this lesson video, we will look into the parts of a microscope and we will look into the individual roles and functions. To start off, what you're looking at right here is the power button and the brightness knob. You can use the brightness knob to control the level of brightness coming from the light source. Next, this is the ocular lens. This is the lens which you will use to look right into your specimen. The standard magnification for this lens is 10 times. Now, looking into this lens, you will find a little scale called the eyepiece graticule. Eyepiece graticule is a little scale which we use to measure the actual size of a specimen. The technique to calibrate this eyepiece graticule will be discussed in a separate video. Now, moving away from the ocular lens, we will now reach the objective lenses. These are your objective lenses and there are three types as you can see right here. The first one will be the 4 times objective lens, the second will be the 10 times objective lens, and the third will be the 40 times objective lens. Now you need to make sure that you fix the objective lens right above where the light is coming from before you start looking into your specimen. Now we will come into the stage microscope. This is where you'll place your slide and you'll use these knobs to control the right and left up and down side movement. This is the cost adjustment knob to control the level of the stage microscope. Moving on next is another part which we call as the condenser lens. This condenser lens is supposed to focus the light from the light source right onto your specimen. And there's another part attached to it called the iris. The iris controls the amount of light that is supposed to reach your specimen. The function of this is to provide good contrast over the image that you see under the microscope. Alright, you have looked at all the parts of the microscope, at least the important ones for you. How about now we look at some other basic techniques of using a microscope, such as irrigation and how to focus right on your specimen. Come, let's check it out. Cells may need to be stained so that we can view them well under the microscope. Irrigation technique helps to get the staining dye evenly throughout the cells that you want to view. Firstly, you will introduce one to two drops of water in the middle of the slide and you will place the tissue on top of it. This will make sure that the tissue stays hydrated on the slide. Then you will place a cover slip, tilt it at 45 degrees angle and swiftly let it down to avoid formation of air bubbles which can interrupt the view of the cell. You will then add a drop of a dye, like iodine, onto one side of the cover slip. This dye will diffuse into the area under the cover slip which you will need to use a filter paper over on the other side of the cover slip to help to draw the dye across. 
Doing this will produce a nice and neat staining of the cells before viewing under the microscope. Well, I hope you guys can understand that the irrigation technique is not just to introduce the stain to the cells, but it also helps to produce a neat and clean preparation of the stained tissue under the microscope. Now, how about looking into the proper techniques of how you can focus and view the specimens well under your microscope? You need to pay attention for this. Let's check it out. Okay, now we will look into how we can properly focus and view a specimen under the microscope. First of all, you will use the course adjustment knob to shift the stitch microscope all the way to the top. Just like what you are seeing right here. Now, for a start, I will focus on the edge of the cover slip because the edge of the cover slip is an area which is uh, coarse and thick which is hardly to miss when I try to look for it under the microscope. So the idea here is to look for something that is hard to miss. I will not start by looking at the specimen itself because the specimen, which can be a plant stem or which can be a plant root, is usually much smaller and thinner compared to the edge of the cover slip. So I will look for the edge of the cover slip instead. Next, looking into the ocular lens, I will start to look for the edge of the cover slip. So what I will do is to use the course adjustment knob to lower down the stage microscope until I can focus on the edge of the cover slip. Take a look right here. As I lower the stage, the view of the edge of the cover slip becomes clearer. Alright, so the idea of catching the edge of the cover slip is because it is coarse, thick and it is hardly to miss. So once you've caught the edge of the cover slip, you can use this knob to move straight to the middle of your slide and start looking for the actual specimen. Take a look right here. This is how it is done. Use the knob to go to the middle of your slide and you shall find the specimen just like what you are seeing right here. Alright guys, why not you try this in the lab and I hope the steps that I shared with you here will be able to help you to focus and view your specimen uh, correctly under the microscope. This is to show you that you can turn the objective lens around to increase the magnification of your specimen. Turn the objective lens and use the fine adjustment knob to make the image clearer. Turn the objective lens again to increase magnification and use the fine adjustment knob for clearer image. Hi all, I hope this video gives you some basic understanding about your microscope, the parts and how to perform some right technique for your microscope so that you can go through your paper tree with confidence. And if you like the work that I've done for you, please give me a like and subscribe the channel and do give me a comment in the section below of the things that you want me to do in future. Till then, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.